trying to remove the invasive autumn olive. Um, there's different camps on uh, people who think that uh, the autumn olive is beneficial versus uh, not beneficial. I believe there's some benefit to it. It does provide some good cover. I've heard that there's some uh, browse benefit to it. But what I also believe is that there are native plants that will be more beneficial. So we are working to remove a lot of the autumn olive. As you can see, it's uh, springtime. They're starting to leaf out, which is not the best time to be treating them. But we've been working on them all winter. We've got a little bit we're going to finish up. We're going to show you later some video, uh, some aerial shots of all the work we've done. And what you'll see is where we've removed the autumn olive. So that's part of our project. And the second part of our project is we take all the treetops, everything that we cut, and we create brush piles, uh, basically creating rabbitat. The brush piles have a either a wood or pallet at the base. We pile the brush on top of it. So two equip programs. One is removal of the invasive autumn olive. The other is creating the habitat. So uh, we've got those two that we're working together. The way that we remove the autumn olive, we have three different approaches to it. One is we'll come in with a chainsaw, cut it off, and hit it with glyphosate. The key to that is as soon as you cut it, you need to hit it before it self-seals. Again, not the best time of year in the spring to be doing that because it's pushing its energy up from the roots versus taking energy down to the roots. Not to say it won't be effective, but not as effective as doing it during colder months. The second way that we found is we will get the, the tractor in the loader and the root systems on these are pretty shallow. With a couple pushes from the bottom, we're able to pop these out of the ground. And the third thing is if they're small enough, we just hit them with the brush hog, run over them. Uh, with the brush hog method, we're not hitting them with glyphosate as quickly, but once we get them mowed down, we can continue to maintain control of them by continuing to brush hog the area. So three different ways that we're controlling the autumn olive. We're going to walk through each of those here shortly. should kill it off. So just like that, in a matter of minutes, we're able to cut one off, scoop it up with the forks, get a brush pile going, both improving the habitat from the removal of this, as well as improving habitat for the rabbits. So, uh, rabbits, songbirds, a lot of things we use the brush piles. So real quick turnaround, we've done this with several hundred of these so far. Got a little bit further to go in this area, uh, and we'll have knocked out about three and a half acres. So if you're curious about the EQIP program, it's a USDA program that we signed up for. Uh, they pay us roughly $150 per acre for removing autumn olive and $25 for every brush pile we create. So the idea behind it is it's somewhat of a cost share. It's not intended to cover the full cost of removal, 
but it helps cover the costs and uh, if you do the work yourself uh, it actually pays for um, you know additional equipment you might need chemicals things along those lines herbicides so pretty good program okay so next up we're going to show you um, kind of method number two for how we take out these autumn olive basically what we're going to do is use the front end loader on the tractor We'll lay it over, put a little bit of pressure on the roots so it starts to come out of the ground, back up, hit it near the base, and what we found is they pop right out of the ground. Very shallow root system. They come out of the ground with very little damage to the ground and uh, seems to get the roots pretty good. So we'll show you how we do that next. So we've done quite a bit of autumn olive cleanup today. We cut some with the chainsaw, we pulled some out with the, uh, or ran some over and pulled it out with the bucket, and made a number of uh, brush piles for the rabbits. Now I'm gonna hit some, the brush hog, some stuff that we just ran over here that didn't quite get killed. And then we've got a section up here by the woods where we've got some autumn olive creeping into the woods. I'm gonna hit some of that with uh, the brush hog as well as part of our uh, timber stand improvement program. 